Today's lesson, perfect contrast with Nikon Capture NX2 using double threshold. I'm Christian Vogner, and today we're going to learn how to get perfect contrast using double threshold in Nikon Capture NX2. I'm going to open View NX, and we're going to select an image with a really low contrast to start with. Here we go, one of these sailboat images will do. So I'm going to select the image and click the Capture NX2 button to load the image into Nikon Capture NX2 and then I'm just going to minimize View NX and select Nikon Capture NX2 here. The first thing we're going to look at is down in the right hand corner in our histogram area we're going to see something that says double threshold. So we're going to check the double threshold box here like this and what's going to happen is your screen is going to turn gray. Now what that is, is this is a histogram and your highlights are over on the right and your shadows are on the left. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this highlight slider and we're just going to slowly move it from right to left and we're going to keep dragging it until we actually see some highlights popping up on our image here. Once, we've, once we see these highlights, we're going to actually go up to our our top toolbar and we're going to click the highlight picker. It's the, the white one here. It's the highlight picker. And then we're going to click somewhere on this image. Then we're going to bring up our shadow area here. And we're going to click and move that to the right until we actually see some, some dark shadow areas showing like so on the sailboat here. And then we're just going to click our shadow black control point and we're going to click in a black area and then we're going to turn off or uncheck double threshold like so and voila this is our before this is our after and Nikon Capture has done an amazing job in figuring out the appropriate contrast for the image and essentially clipped the range of our histogram. So then now that we've we've done our color control points we can actually click on one of them we can move it around and you can see as I move my point around it adjusts the image or I can do the same thing with the black. Um, I can click in a point and I can adjust the luminosity so the effect of that once again really fine-tuning the controls and I can see before and after. So Nikon Capture NX2 does an amazing job of getting perfect contrast using double threshold. Now I'm just going to do a couple little enhancements here just to show again how we can use color control points to enhance our image after we've used our double threshold. So I'm going to click a color control point and I'm going to click this sky. I'm just going to darken the sky out a little bit here. Maybe warm it up a little bit. Mm, that's a nice effect. And then I'm going to duplicate, edit duplicate this effect a few times across our sky and then I will click control point here in the water and I will cool the water off a bit just to add some color contrast and I'll add some contrast to the water and some saturation great and maybe just brighten up a little bit okay I'm, I'm liking that so I'm gonna duplicate this adjustment uh, so maybe a couple times over the water it's looking good and then maybe I'll duplicate that again and bring it up into our sail here so we get some bright colors come coming through I'll maybe add a bit more saturation to the sail I'll duplicate that for the other part of the sail here and I'll do it one more time and I'll just brighten up this sail over here now that's a bit much. I'm going to bring my radius down a bit and you know I'm not liking that specific color so I'm going to go into my color picker here for that point and I'm going to pick a red coloring for a sail. And I like that so I'm going to select that. 
And now let's look at our before and after. That's without color control points. That's with. And this is without our double threshold technique. And you can see, wow, what an amazing transformation from this to this in just a few short steps. So thank you for joining us today. I hope you learned something, and we'll see you again soon.